Hello, it's another episode of Music in a Nutshell brought to you by Braided Water. And today we're going to talk about baritone acoustic guitar. Uh, this is actually a standard guitar, standard six string, but tuned as a baritone. Um, I tried the Alvarez baritone and uh, it was okay. And uh, the uh, I think at the time I was looking, Santa Cruz offered one, which was quite expensive and also in a dreadnought, which I tend to not favor dreadnoughts so much. Um, and uh, I decided to try to take a standard acoustic. This happens to be a, uh, acoustic made by Ted Thompson in his uh, one man shop in Canada. Uh, amazing guitar and tune it up as a baritone and see how it worked. And it's worked fabulously. Um, I have a, uh, uh, acoustic bass string on for the low B, uh, and the rest of the set is, I think a, a standard acoustic medium set with just the high E dropped off. So where the A string would be is now an E string. Um, where the B string would be, I uh, chose to use a wound string there. Um, and so it's tuned B to B, just standard tuning. And sometimes I like to play it in kind of a bass slap style, uh, like you heard me playing at the opening there, where you're just basically using your thumb. You can also strum it. Uh, if you get into really fast strumming, usually on a baritone, uh, it's going to start to get muddy. It just doesn't quite handle it as well. Um, I was really drawn to them because I started writing songs that were, that were very voicing specific but were not in a good key for my voice and I wanted to be able to go into a lower range and I found that the baritone really suited that. I also sometimes will uh, capo, even if you put a capo on the baritone and then play it in what would be a standard voicing because of the fatness of the strings you get a really rich sound that um, you just don't get on a standard six string so it really just depends on the song uh, or it depends on the music that you're wanting to play whether uh, this ends up being um, as suitable uh, if you want your intonation to be really good and you take a standard six you'll need to have your nut slots uh, recut to be the correct size and height for uh, the new larger strings um, you may have to have the saddle adjusted a little bit um, the uh, i did quite a bit of research on different string uh, tensions like Diodario and I think some of the other companies have uh, string uh, tension charts so that the string set that I have on here as a baritone is even across the board um, and is also it's roughly about the same tension as if I had a set of uh, medium regular medium guitar strings tuned you know regular E to E um, so it doesn't put any more tension on the instrument uh, than a set of medium strings. And certainly if you had a guitar that you felt like should only have light strings on it or was recommended only for light strings, you could just go with a, a lighter set of strings. You just have to look at the tension chart and figure out what will work the best. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, send me a message. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe uh, to my channel here. You may be seeing this on my Facebook page. Um, this originates uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, I will have a website up soon and uh, I will be offering uh, private lessons uh, starting sometime in January. So keep playing. Thanks a lot. Bye.